welcome to Jacob's Bougie Garden. We are going to start some snapdragons today. Um, I have a mix and then I have ivory and I have bronze, which is a pink. So I'm going to show you how we um, start them in our little plant starter and here we go. First of all, I have the white, which is the ivory, and I have my little tag all ready to go. So I'm going to stick it right here. And I'm going to go this way on each one of them. Now, there's a real simple way to do this um, because these seeds are so teeny tiny. I mean, teeny tiny. So what I'm going to do is put them in my hand here. So there's a real easy way to do this. So these do not go in the dirt. They just go on top of the dirt. So what we're going to do is take a skewer. I am out of toothpicks, so this will work just fine. I'm going to dip it in a little bit of water and I'm going to pick up a seed and I'm just going to lay it right on top, just like that. And I'm just going to keep doing that until we get them all. Just dip it in your water, pick up a seed, and stick it on there. It's very simple, guys. So make sure you get it on there. I am just using regular potting soil right now. I'm not using a starter mix or anything. I'm just going to them all the way down this road. Picking up dirt. If you do a toothpick, it's not as bad. So, pick up the seed and stick I'm only doing one. Sometimes you can do um, two, but I'm only doing one seed per pod. Um, if one doesn't germinate and come up, I'll replace it and um, move them around, and then that way we're not wasting space. These should come up in about a week. And I'm going to do two rows of each one. And like I said, guys, we're not going in the dirt. We're just laying it right on top. Okay. There's all our ivory. I'm going to put these back in the pack here. Now we're going to do the bronze, which is the pink, here. You see it right there? Aren't they so pretty? I love snapdragons. They're gorgeous. So I'm going to put my tag in the next slot. And pull my seeds out. And we're going to do two more rows. And then I'll just do one row. Now I've pre-moistened this soil, um, not sopping wet, just moist, just where you can grab it in your hands and no water comes out. Look how tiny these seeds are, guys. Crazy. So here we go. Okay, got all of those planted. So now we'll do our mixed seeds. And I'm 
this is our mix seeds right here. Aren't these gorgeous, guys? There's like a peachy color, a white, a pink, a light pink, a fuchsia. Those are be gorgeous. Same process. We just wet the end of our stick and put our seed on top. Okay, we've got all of our snapdragons planted. So we have an extra row here. So I am going to, we're gonna put our top, but right now we're gonna water it first. So what we're gonna do is pop out one of these. I'm gonna put some water in the bottom here. slide this back in here and we're going to let them sit there for about 10 minutes just so the dirt can absorb that water and then we whatever excess is there we will dump out so we are going to set that aside for 10 minutes so now look what chase brought me home from school isn't that gorgeous i just love it it's so pretty so i thought we would Put it in this little pot. Isn't that pretty? Um, this is a pot I picked up at a Goodwill store, and I shop Goodwill stores all the time. You can find really good deals. I mean, it was a dollar. Um, Chase did drill me a hole in the bottom, so I have drainage. And I'm going to pop this bad boy right in this pot. Um, I probably should get a little dirt back in the bottom. See? I have my dirt back in here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of dirt in the bottom there. Just like that. And I'm going to just put it in there. Look how pretty that's going to be in that pot. Look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Um, this was pretty sop and wet, so I'm not going to water it in um, today. I'll probably water it in a day or so. I'm going to let it dry out just a little bit. But doesn't that look beautiful? I just love it. It's gorgeous. A little burnt tip on it but that's okay it'll come back out I'm gonna put my dirt back and I'm gonna set him right here and then clean on that side. you guys like me I make a huge mess <laughs> no matter what I do rose seeds. I have never grew anything from a rose from a rose seed before, so this will be my first time. So I figured we'll do it together. So I have a container here and it has um, perlite in it. You can see it's just white stuff. Um, it's this right here. Um, it's a perlite mix and so what we're going to do is moisten our, per our perlite real quick. So I'm going to take my water and I'm going to dump in there and moisten it a little bit. You don't want it too moist. You don't want it sopping wet. You just want it moist a little bit. So 
you want it moist enough to where it clumps together and but it doesn't um, soft drip water when you squeeze it. So you want it just like that. So when you squeeze it, no water comes out, but it holds a shape. So that's what we want. Um, I'm going to use one of my old orange juice containers and I'm going to put the perlite in here. Um, I have about an inch of perlite in there. So, let me go wash this up. So, I have my seeds here. And I put a tag on it so I don't forget what it was. So, I have my seeds here and I have been soaking them in water for... It's been about 36 hours. You can soak them from 24 to 48 hours. And um, I just put a little card here so I remember what it was that I was soaking because who knows what I get into and I forget about everything. So I'm just going to lay my seeds on top. Of my you know what? That stick might work better. Let's try it. Okay, they look like little worms. And I'm just going to put them right on top. Here. What we're doing is, you can put these in little small containers and stick them in your refrigerator if you want to. What we need to do is fool Mother Nature these seeds into thinking that they've gone through a winter spell. So they need to be cold for about six weeks. And then we can transfer them out of here and actually root them in a container. So we just need to convince them that they're going through winter. And being that I am going through winter and it is still cold here, I am going to just sit mine outside with my um, winter seed sewing containers. So what I'm going to do with that, I am not taking the lid off of this one. I am leaving the lid on it. I'm going to duct tape it shut because I don't want more moisture or water and I did not put drainage holes in the bottom. This is all I want it to do is just sit here in the cold just like this so I've already marked my tape and I'm gonna go ahead and tape her shut tape shut and then this will sit outside with my winter seed script my winter seed sewing containers and that will give me my six weeks um, of cold so what we need to do is make sure you mark this on the calendar so I will mark today on the 18th and mark six weeks later so that I will know that this is ready to Put our little seeds in seed starting containers. So I'll put that aside for the moment and it has been about 10 minutes and let's see what our tray is doing. We're finished with that. Check our tray here. Yes. So as you can see, most of the water was absorbed, so I'm going to let Chase take this in the other room and dump that in the sink real quick. We're going to get these bad boys all set up because we need heat for these guys. So I'm going to put my trays right back in here and you're in the. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna put my trays back in here. And I made another mess. So I'm gonna wipe it up real quick. And I'm gonna put my tray, my lid on my tray here. Snug. And if you can see behind me, I'm going to let Chase um, grab the camera and show you behind me. I have set up just a little place for me to put a couple seed trays. I don't need a lot because I'm not going to do, I don't have a lot of things that I need to put on in seed trays because most of them I did in winter sowing. Um, this is a light it's a clip light it has all these little tentacles on it and you can move them wherever you want to and that's the lighting i have this will stay on for 14 hours then it will automatically turn off and then i can turn it back on um the next day so these are heat pads they get warm and they keep your plants warm so that's what we want to use because we want them to stay warm. I don't have a lot of heat down here. Um, it stays fairly cool. It stays around 65 down here all the time. So um, having them on a heat, heat pad will help a lot. And these, I got two of them on Amazon for like $15. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set my seed tray. Right on our heat pad here, under our lights. Go. Ta-da! And that'll go until we get ready to do some more seeds. So that's all I've got to do today. So I will see you guys next time. Y'all have a wonderful afternoon. Bye. Now I'm getting you washing your hands ASMR. Magical arm. Now I'm getting you washing your hands. Just go ahead and start some. Um... All right, that's terrible. We are going to start some snack. The water will pump in. Audio's good. Yeah, great. <laughs>